Party Nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89 and today's Manga Nerdigan Live Reaction video is going to be for Togen Anki chapters 47 through 49. So, oh man, we are getting into um, Mudano versus Osuke and oh man, I'm really excited to see how this goes down because we got the Umbrella versus the Scythe. Oh, let's get to this chapter and see what's in store for us today. So we're starting off with chapter 47 and oh, we got a beautiful looking color spread here. That deep red background is gorgeous. It's really making all the characters pop. And um, it says here, due to rising popularity, a red hot center color um, page in a, ooh, a whopping 26 pages. All right. Mudano Naito versus um, Momokado Osuke. Mm. With his scythe and Shane, has Osuke gotten the better of Mudano? In this chapter, chapter 47 is titled um, The Moonlight uh, Welcomes Your Demise. This cover looks really, really nice. We're getting some nice folds in the clothes. I like the different colors of the, um, the track suits for everyone. Oh, gosh, this, this looks good. This looks good. The cover pages for the volumes, though, they look really good. I love it. Volume four looks good. All right, here we go. Um, Momokado Suke's inescapable chains roar. What will Madonna uh, Sensei do next? Mm, I love, love, love it. Love this freaking, um, uh, the scythe, the bacteria. It looks so good. Oh, here's my problem, though. And I had this problem the last time. That white outline drives me nuts because it looks like there's stickers being placed on, um, on the landscape. I fucking hate it. Oh, it drives me nuts. But other than that, it looks so good. Just the fucking white outline, man. Mm. Make my choice, you say. You're a feisty one, aren't you? Oh, this looks so much better. That umbrella looks a lot better. A lot less white. A lot less white. Mm. But I wish the veins were just a little bit thinner. Like, still... Still a little too bright. It, it's a lot better, but man, it really could use it a, to be just a little bit dimmer. <sighs> but we're getting its baby steps with the, this art. It really is. However, you bark too much for a dog with no bite. Now, here's the thing. Again, problems with this manga art sometimes is, uh, and this is, it's not limited to token Anki. It's not limited to your art, Urushibara sensei. This happens a lot in series. It's okay. But uh, consistency t tends to be a problem. But like here in the bottom, this bottom panel, the umbrella looks so much better than it does up there. It does, but to an extent, but, oh, Oh, it's a little too, it's just a teeny bit too bright in some areas. What I mean by it looks a little bit better, I'm talking about um, the thickness. The thickness of those veins looks so much better. But man, that brightness is killing me. Oh, that brightness is fucking killing me. But I will say this though, the thickness of the blood that's dripping off the umbrella. Oh my God, is it a huge improvement? Because it used to be like really thick. The thinness, especially in the back, Oh my God, it looks so bad, much, so much better. But I will say though, uh, I was debating on saying that the lightness of the veins would be okay because of the moonlight, but man, nah, nah, I can't, I can't, nah. It should be, it should be, this should be like a, dar a darker gray. I'm, uh, there's definitely less white, which is good, but man, this should be a way darker gray, way darker gray. But, it's getting so much better. What a cool line. Um, what a cool line. I just might try saying it myself. This movement looks great. Oh, the movement looks good. Damn it. Why? Why does the umbrella, why is the umbrella looking OK? 
okay looking a like as we're going through this chapter the umbrella is like kind of slowly improving the art for the umbrella is slowly like slowly improving but mm, mm, it's not enough not enough for my liking nice catch <laughs> you're kidding Ooh, that speed looks good there's the whip um, that's, uh, that speed, he's got quite an, oh wait, sorry, that speed, he's got quite an arm, but it's useless, I can simply nullify my own ability. This bacteria looks great. Oh god, that's one thing I will say that's been really consistent in Rishibar's art is the bacteria, that bacteria art looks fantastic. Ooh! Madonna coming through that bacteria is boss. That is some boss shit. And we get less white outline, so it looks looks less stickery, which is great. Need more of that. I would say this though, a little bit more line work in the in the wheels of the roller blades though, so it looks like because they're not looking. Like, they're moving as fast as I want them to. Other than that, it looks fantastic. Ooh, whoa there, I almost thought you knocked my head off. Ooh, torrential rebirth. I'm debating about the, if there's like a little bit of a white outline that's driving me nuts. Okay, in some, in the top part of, um, oh my god. The top, uh, like the head for um, Osuke, that white outline just is driving me nuts. And you know what? I will say this throughout this fight so far, that white outline has gone away and it looks so much better. It looks so much better. They look less stickery. But there's still parts in the arts art where it's still there and it looks, it drive, it's driving me nuts. You just won't let up, huh? Mm-mm, he ain't letting up. Can you knock it off already? <sighs> All right, I'm gonna keep going here and I'll, I want it, cause I want to see if this gets better or not. Ooh. There's the umbrella. No way he, no way he threw his umbrella. Well, no shit he threw his umbrella. I wonder just how much more of this he can take. How nice. The moon looks lovely tonight. It's it's like the moonlight welcomes your demise. That moonlight shining on Madonna's head. How it looks like. And yes, we have a yin-yang motif, which is... I don't have my Reynolds over here. I'm too lazy to go get it. Which is the manga Illuminati. I swear to freaking God. Yin Yang motif is straight up manga Illuminati. And we straight up have it. And it looks bomb. It looks so gorgeous. This panel is gorgeous. It is. The white outline on the left side is bugging the shit out of me. But on the right. And to an extent on the right side. like Where it's like this blunt white outline. It's driving me nuts. But man, on the left side, it's really, really bad. Really, really bad. But anyway, I just can't win, huh? I, <laughs> nope. Ah, uh, it looks like Osuke could die. Huh? Um, whichever way you predict his fortune, it's just awful. Should we come in as reinforcements? Well, probably not. After all, Osuke's a bit of a freak. Um, no matter how much they like fighting when cornered, a normal person would usually value their lives and despair at the fate that has befallen them. That is not the case with Osuke. This background, this background, this background. That background is giving me life. For him, it doesn't matter whether he wins or loses. Okay, the only thing that I'm having a problem with this panel is... Besides, obviously, the clothes not being fucked up, and that has just been a huge problem in this manga, is that the clothes are not getting fucked up. Why? Why do the clothes look like they're fucking pristine? They should not be looking pristine like this. A good example of how fucked up the clothes should be right about now is go look at um, the fight between uh, Arthur and Dragon and Fire Force. Look how fucked up Arthur's clothes are up in that fight. That's what should be going on up in here. 
But, and the other thing that would make this look so much better is if um, Osuke's face was black. Because then you would be getting like the psychotic, creepy ass feeling coming off, which should be having. But other than that, this is, this is fantastic. And the blood coming out of his mouth. It's great. He doesn't, he does not value the outcome as much as the fight. You are the best, Mudano. That is the fight to the death. Don't think it's over just yet. Mm. Oh, okay, here we go. Torrential rebirth. Mm. Okay, here's the only reason why I'm not gonna be pissy about it being too shiny. Because you have the moonlight. If it weren't for the moonlight, you you would be hearing it from me about being too shiny. But you, but the faces here are shadowed, and it looks so cool. And I wish Suki should have had a shadow face like that. The capes look great. The bows, you see how the bows are great, like the dark gray in the bows. That's what you want for this umbrella. Why can I not get this for the umbrella? Why? Ooh. I'll t but, but why is there like nothing showing in the clothes? Why? Give me like some holes or something to show how effective, like how fucking strong these arrows are. Like give me some impact. It's really pissing me off. I want to see that impact. I'll take everything you could throw, but man, Madonna's umbrella up in, the, uh, in this panel, zoomed out, it actually looks a lot better, and I love that spotlight. To get to the best possible outcome, Usuke would truly accept death. He's really something else. Huh, I guess it would, wouldn't do to enter the fight half-heartedly. Combat is like a drug to him. If it's not to the death, he can't get stimulated. Um, that's what makes him a freak. Again, why is the face not shadowed? Why? Why isn't it all black? It would give, and it would just, oh, it would just be so much better. And again, that suit being still pristine, nah, -uh, it should be fucked up. It should be all torn. The hair should be disheveled. It should, it should just be a fucking mess. The glove should be fucked up. I am so freaking annoyed because it's really not showing how powerful Madonna's attacks are. Yeah, the blood coming out of the mouth is not, there. Also, there should be more blood all over um, Asuka's face. Why? Why is there, uh, besides, you know, yeah, the internal bleeding and all that. Sure. But uh, not, there should be blood coming all out of Asuke. I should be seeing more bodily fluid, and I'm not. There's no one else as reckless with their lives as he is. That movement is looking good, though. Oof. Let's get this over. Oh, let's get this over with. Okay, you see the umbrella in this this um in the middle of uh, this page with the umbrella. That's what I want with this umbrella in terms of like the gray. That's the dark gray that I fucking want. Yeah, there's a little bit of white in there. Um, but that dark gray is the shade of gray that I want, and you could have like. A little bit of, yeah, sure, you could have a little bit of white to show, like, the movement of, of like, the blood cells. It would I would rather have it not be so big. Like, make it just, like, just, like, little things of white for, you know, cell, to have, like, the, um, have, like, movement and shit. But, um, in the veins. But, um, uh, which we kind of see, like, at the, at the top of the umbrella. But that shit, dark shade of gray is what I want. That is what I want. Oh, say it ain't so. Uh, I could go. I could still go for a couple more rounds if you catch my drift. <gasps> yes, yes. That fucking. Oh God, that looks so good. What are you talking about? Sizes and everything, you know. Then let's see what you have to say about this range. Ooh. That move, it looks good. The umbrella looks so much better. Why does the umbrella just look better if, like, zoomed out like this? Even someone like you has a weak point. That is, um, that is, you can't mount an offense from midair. There's no way you can deal with this now. Is that so? 
Raindrops don't always flow from the sky. Huh? Wait, huh? What? Woo! It's flowing from the ground. <gasps> Quenching rain of the twin dragon's tears. Ooh. Woo! Oh, we got, oh, we got a color. Oh, there was a coloring of this, too. There's a color of this. Whoever colored this, they, oh, man, the person that colored this did, did a nice job. They did. I wish the, uh, I, part of me wants to say I kind of wish the red was darker, but that black is a nice contrast. Yeah, I still, uh, I still kind of want the red to be darker, but going back to the actual panel, this, gr this, we're getting the nice contrast of the gray and the black, nice black and gray contrast. And you see how like there's little bits of white just moving through the veins. That is what I want. It looks good. It looks good. It looks good. The bottom part in particular, the bottom of uh, the page where, you know, the dragon's coming out. <gasps> oh my God. Urushibara, this is beautiful. This is fucking beautiful. This has got to be the best blood attack we have seen from you since, um, since, uh, Shiki, uh, since Shiki's, um, Entei Awakening. Oh my God, this is gorgeous. This is really, really gorgeous. And you got the, and then you see the umbrella, which looks great. And this, oh God, the movement in the clouds in the sky too. <gasps> Oh my God. Oh my God. I, this is what I want. This is what I want. This is what I want. When you give me abstract art like this, I am very happy. And the little bit of white in the scaling is, is fine because it, it, it's a nice contrast. So, um, cause otherwise if it's too much black and gray like that, it, it gets a little muddy. So when, um, what to, to, uh, too dark of a gray and it just what you have the right shade of gray where it's not it where it's light enough where it's not too shiny it's not it works oh my god this looks so good it's not too shiny at all it's not oh my god this looks so good oh my god oh my god this looks so good oh my god i just can't i'm i'm so happy I'm so happy with this. You have no idea. Rishi Bar, the only, uh, I understand why the art's inconsistent now is because of this, because of that. Uh, well, art is inconsistent in chapter 47 because of that greatness. I will give you a pass on that. But man, this art, I know it's baby steps with this art. It is baby steps with this art, but man, it's getting better. Now you guys understand why I have not dropped this series because Yes, the writing is fucking amazing, but the art is just slowly, but surely getting better. And when it is good, oh my God, is it good? Oh my God, it is good. Anyway, chapter 48, Madonna's strength prevails over the Momotaro Corpse War Freak. Uh, oh, oh my God. Madonna's strength prevails over the Mo Momotaro Corpse War Freak, Mom, uh, Momokado Suke, right at that moment appears all right i've spared your life now tell me everything you know and this chapter is titled not so bad swords of the Ooh! Ooh! Mm. we got knights just here in time to come after them dragons mm. all right i've been spoiled by armor including knight armor um, from Okubo and Fire Force. So, oh, but we got bacteria up in here. We do. I really wish, um, and the fact that there's bacteria, I think there's bacteria coming off the armor too. So I wish there was just flat out made out of bacteria. I really do. And that that's what we saw flat out in the arm, flat out on the armor. But I'll take what I can get here. Another one? Fear not. We're not fated to face off today. Um, I just came to pick up this pervert. <laughs> Who are you calling a pervert? Pervert? Oi! 
Ooh, okay. This panel right here showing off the, you know, black bacteria on this armor, that looks a lot better. Okay. Oh, and we don't have white, uh, like a blunt white outline in this. Oh my God, Urushi Bar, this looks so much better. Holy shit, this looks so much better. Less stickery. Oh, and you're seeing, okay. Yeah, you're seeing the, you know, black bacteria coming off the armor. This is what I want. Good, 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 good. You think I'd let you get away? Listen, I'd love to fight, but someone's out jogging and about to pass by. If you don't mind getting them involved, though, I'd be fine with it. Till next time, then. After all, we are destined to meet again. Woo! I love, love this. I love, love, love this. How um, how he disappeared via the bacteria like this. Oh, my God. Or dissolved via the bacteria like this. This is what I want. Good shit. Guess I'll head to the hospital. Told you you'd lose. Um, told you you'd lose. It's because of that weak ability. Shut up. I'm taking a leg into that guy, you know. So how do you think it will go next time? Thanks to you, I'm 100% sure I'll win. Oh, we got some marking. We got some scratches up on the clothing. This looks, and we got some scratches up on the face. Finally. Finally. And we got some lines in the eyes. This is good. This is good. This is good. Well, the next time's my turn, right? You're stupid. It's still mine. The fire department still hasn't, oh, this fire looks so good. Oh my God. The fire department still hasn't arrived. Where are they? With the fire like that, there's no way you could save all the people still inside. Woo! Yeah, I got a shiki! Granny, make sure you don't breathe in the smoke, okay? Ah, have you come to pick me up, darling? Um, pull yourself together. Was Gramps this... Pull yourself together. Was Gramps this good looking? I'll let you know, Grandma was a total hottie. It's so you. She's got... She's got all seen out on me. <laughs> Granny, you should be able to make it outside from here. Hurry up and get out of here. Please don't leave me behind. Didn't we promise each other uh, that night that we would never let go? Nuh-uh. Cut it out. It's gross. Um, Kugasaki, how many more left to go? Hurry up. We've got no time to lose. Um, shut up. My head is pounding. Dude, this fire behind Kugasaki is everything. The hell is this thing? The hell is this thing? Anyway, my head's about to split open. The patrol unit, um, the patrol unit dude gave it to me. Hold on. Let me look at this blood. This is much better. Oh my god. This is a huge improvement compared to when I started covering this manga in terms of blood. You have no idea. This um, this this vial of blood allows one to determine the number and location of people in an area and the layout of any building. With that, you can tell tell me where the people are and I can go save them. It pisses me off that you can use it so normally, though. Um, since they said only people with a high IQ can use it. Normally my ass, it feels like my head's about to blow. I'm about to be sick. I can't do this for much longer. So hurry the hell up, dumbass! Don't, don't bust me around, stupid! I hope your uh, all your hair falls out. <laughs> I know it's scary. Hang in there. Um, next, go to the second floor, south wing. So heavy. Um, I'm sorry. I promise I'll lose weight. It'd be real great if you did it now. <laughs> Faster! You're dropping the pace. Of course I am. I'm carrying people, you know. If only you brought a smartphone, that'd be way easier. I have nothing of the sort. Now run! Oi, Shiki, if you get lost in the next one, I'll kill you! It's because you suck at getting directions, scumbag! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, this fire, this fire, this fire! Um, hey, how many left? Just one more. Uh, what about that girl you were talking about? She's not yet... So she's the last one. Well, let's hurry then. Where is she? The North Wing, third floor. Kugasaki, are you okay? Shut up. Um, take it easy for now. Where are you, short stuff? Uh, there she is. She's alive. She's still breathing. Um, everything's going to be fine. Don't die on me. It's all right. It's going to be all right. Everything's going to be fine. Uh, Kugasaki, here she is. She's alive. Let's hurry and get out of here. Uh-oh. Look out. Whoa! No! You gotta be kidding me! Are you still alive in there? Ugh, I'm totally trapped! Um, no! Shut up! I am alive! Hurry up and get the kid out of here! We don't know when the rest of this place could go down. Got it! I'll be back in a bit! 
Damn it, I'm so lightheaded. I can't use my blood. Back in a bit, huh? He's such an idiot. What good will it do for him if he does that? He came here when he didn't have anything to do with this in the first place. He's just something else. <sighs> I've always been uh, the one getting saved. It's been so frustrating. So pathetic. All this time I've been on my own. I swear if Kukusaki dies, I'm going to be mad. I, um, I even thought that when the time came, uh, I'd be fine if I die alone too. No! I would have rather die than receive help from anyone else. There's no, there's, uh, no one I could think of who'd, uh, come to save me anyway. That's what I thought, but... What happened to me? Ah, uh, what the hell? You're so, uh, what the hell? You're still alive? I, I came to believe that Shiki would come and save me. Uh, shut it. Who's dying? Uh, shut it. Who's dying, dumbass? Get me out of here already. Do you want me to put you in the background? Or, sorry. Do you want me to put you back in the ground? The place is crawling with firemen, um, and gawkers, so we should, so we really should get going. Thank you. Oh, the romance! The romance! And man, this fire is gorge. Um, huh? What'd you say? Speak up! I can't hear you! I thought I'd rather die than rely on anyone else, but... Hold me up properly, stupid! Ha <laughs> ha! Having someone to rely on is not so bad, after all. I'm gonna throw you to the floor, damn it! The awkward friendship between the two is forged even stronger in the flames. Oh, This is so cute. I love this romance. But again, main problem I'm having with this chapter... Shiki is an exception, because... It's, the fire doesn't real. I think the fire, if I remember correctly, ain't supposed to affect his clothes anyway. So, Shiki, fine. Kugasaki, mm-mm. Kugasaki should have had more injuries going on with him. But man, that fire was, <gasps> and also the rubble going on in, inside the building. Nice stuff. Anyway, let's get to chapter 49, which is, I believe, the final chapter I am covering this week. Yes. So let's go. With the defeat of uh, Mobokato Suke, Mudano makes haste for the hospital, only, only to find that Shiki and Kugasaki are nowhere in sight. And chapter 49 is titled, Everything is Going My Way. A fire? Amazing, just how, just how, um, amazing, just how did nobody die in that fire? Didn't they say that two boys saved them? So it was the, uh, so it was those two. My arms, um, my arms are aching from carrying another guy. This is the worst. It's not like you, it's not like I asked you to do that, though. You really pissed me off, you know that? So, what's the deal with the kid? I helped you out, so at least tell me that much. She's, what's wrong? There's gotta be some connection between the hospital fire, my kidnapping, and the Momo, but why would they set, the set, um, why would they set the fire? They took a hostage just so they could keep me captive, but it's pointless that they kill her, right? Did they want to make sure uh, no one would talk? But in that case, she'd still prove useful. Hmm, what do you mean? Um, she had a younger sister. What if they took her hostage too? But why would they do that? Shiki, it's you they're after. That Momo's target was you. Uh, they might have been planning to use the hostage as a bargaining chip to get get to you. I'm not completely sure, but I have a feeling that the little sister is in danger. We don't even know where she is. Let's ask the patrol unit for help this time. Uh, they didn't want me to uh, go into the hospital in the first place. They wouldn't do anything just because I have a feeling that she might be in danger. Uh, we're just going to have to look for her. We're just going to have to look for her ourselves. Do you think uh, looking for someone is that easy, dumb? Uh, <laughs> you should start calling me Master Shiki from now on talking about gross i know someone who can help us look for the kid what who the police dumbass you're dead to me <laughs> what was that even if you tell the cops there's no way they could do anything about it you really are stupid that's if you ask uh just any policeman what could they be talking about the downside of this ability is that i can't hear a thing they're saying um, Sukiyomi and Osuke sure are running late. I wonder what happened. Who knows? As long as they take care of Mudano, I don't really mind waiting. Hmm. Who is he calling now? Hello, Natsuka! Yeah! That's something. Never mind him. What's going on over there? A favor? What is it? Huh? Wouldn't you say? I couldn't catch that. That's a lot of sirens I hear. Where exactly are you? Outside? 
It's like he's talking to you, Genose. Who's that on the phone? Natsuka, and I just met him recently. I was just talking with the, that boss I mentioned before. He knows me? Um, then I guess I'll greet him real, uh, greet them real quick. I hand it over. Huh? What? You haven't been talking smack about me, have you? Of course not. Sorry, Natsuka, and I'm handing over the phone. Hello? This is Mikado's supervisor. It's nice to meet you. Uh, good evening. This is Natsu. I'm real sorry, but we're kind of in a rush, so I can't give a proper greeting. Is that so? I'm sorry to hear that. By the way, it sounds like you're outside at the moment. Could it be raining where you are? Raining? Uh-oh. It's not raining, though. <gasps> there it is. What a fateful encounter. The thing that Mikado and Ichinose have met. Here you go. It's like fortune is smiling down on me. <laughs> now, this is a crucial point. This is the key to motivate Mikado. I just need something to clinch my plan. I've got to think of something. Huh? Well, that's, uh, what's wrong? He says he's looking for a girl. It sounds urgent, too, but I did tell him I was a police officer, after all. I'm not, though. What can I do? Leave it to me. Are you sure, sir? It's urgent, right? It's not like we're busy anyway. I'll have gather intel with my ability. Perfect. There's no way this could go wrong. This would get Mikado to kill Ichinose. It looks like everything is going my way. I feel like I should have some Sinatra going on in the, in the background right now. They said they'll look into it. I'll wait for them to call back. Hey, hey, where's my thinking very much, Master Shiki? Has that cop had to deal with you uh, before? Figures, you do have the face of a criminal. Oh, uh, what do you say? Everyone? Should we kill him now? Uh, oh, this is so awkward. There's nothing I could talk about with this guy, damn it. Oh, this silence is killing me. Uh, I didn't get the chance to ask you. Why are you so worried about the kid? You do owe me for helping you out this, but this time, so spill. It's not that interesting of a story, all right? I also have a sister. Well, no, more like I had a sister. You've already heard, right? My father was a Momotaro. Uh, that father killed my mother and sister. He chose to follow the path of a Momotaro over his own family. Can't be helped. That's the heartless bastard for you. It's a story I can't tell you, uh, tell without uh, starting from there. <gasps> yes! The time has come to reveal what lies in Kugasaki's past. Next in celebration of 50 chapters since serialization, part one of another set of two consecutive color pages. I'm excited. We're finally getting Kugasaki's story. I'm, I'm hyped for this. But... Here's the thing, though. This plan that's coming is going to backfire. Oh, motherfucker think that um, that Mikado is going to just, the plan's going to go his way, and Mikado um, is going to kill Shiki. Nuh-uh. No. Because remember what Mikado's creed is. Mikado doesn't judge by, you know, species slash race or whatnot. He judges by character. And um, he's going to find out, this is going to bite bite in the ass. It's going to come back to haunt this plan. And uh, when it does, woo, it'll be very interesting to see what happens after that. Because um, I feel like what we're going to get here, especially with Mikado, and I really hope we get something like this. And Arushibara, I have to ask if ask you that ask you if um because Arushibara watches my content and he follows me on Twitter. So and Arushibara, I did DM you and you never freaking messaged me back. I know you're busy, Sensei, but we needs to we needs to talk. Um, because something I really would love to see is have something a little bit similar to uh, underlying theme wise to um, Ranger Reject where we are destroying where what's going on is um, we're destroying the Sentai system because it's all a fake and it's nasty that Sentai system it's very very similar to what we have here in a way um, but it's it's the same but it's different system wise um and, uh, um, oh, the revelation we got in the last chapter of Ranger Reject. Ooh, we found out how both sides are nasty. Ooh, man, we did. Um, but um, my point is I'd like to see something similar to that happen here. 
Where, but with Mikado infiltrating and reforming the system, the Momotaro system, and showing the corruption that's going on up in there, and destroying the system and rebuilding it, um, the Momotaro system and rebuilding it. So, um, oh my God, what's the best way to describe what I'm wanting here? So basically, it, again, I can't. I gotta use the saying from from uh, from Beerus. I'm using it a lot. Before there can be creation, there is destruction. Yes. That's what comes from reform. You got to destroy it. And, and this, uh, whether it's metaphorically or literally. And in the case of the Momotaro, you got to destroy it, literally. You do. You got to go after it because... The Momotaro could really be very, like the Momotaro and the, um, uh, and, and again, this is very similar to what we, it's like a combination of like Twin Star Exorcist and, um, and Ranger Reject is kind of what I want. Because with Twin Star Exorcist, we got a really interesting reveal that they, that both the Kigari and the um, Exorcist are being played um, by the king of, um, of uh, Magano, or not like, oh my god, I'm blanking right now. Hold on, okay, now I remember what I was gonna say. Yeah, in um, in the Magano, uh, you have the king of the Magano manipulating both the uh, Kigari and the um, exorcist because, um, if they both came together they would be able to destroy him. And we're seeing what we're seeing in the manga right now is really interesting because we're seeing how, really seeing how both the um, Kigari and the humans, you know, the exorcists mirror each other. They do. They're two sides of the same coin because that's what the Kigari and the Basara are. They, how they are, they're really created off of human emotions. Very, it's really interesting. It really goddamn is. Go read Twin Star Exorcist and you will understand kind of what I want. I would love to see, I, I would really love to see that, find out that there's something bigger that's manipulating the whole situation that want the, um, that want the, uh, um, that want the Momotaro, that want the Oni fighting each other because if they came together, they would be able to destroy um, destroy the bigger power, the one that is really the bigger threat. I would love to see something like this. I really, really would. But I would like it. The thing is, I would like it to be something very unexpected. Again, something similar to what we have in Twin Star Exorcist, where it's something that's really unexpected. Um, would I... Because... Uh, I don't know if it would be like the head of the Momotaro or, um, or like, uh, or hell even see like the Kishin come back or hell, maybe even both. Cause we're getting something like that. That's why I'm kind of saying kind of like in Ranger Reject where we're seeing how both extremes are, you know, are the, are, um, are both bad. Um, so I'm very curious what you guys think. That's what I would like to see up in this manga. I would love, and we're kind of seeing, we're only really seeing one, uh, well, we kind of have seen like the nastier side of, of Oni. We have, but, and we've seen, we've, oh, we've already seen the nasty side of the Momotaro. We've been seeing the nasty side of the Momotaro, but I, I'd really like to see like, a little bit more of the nastier side of the Oni. I do. I kind of want to see, I want to see both. It would just give like some really good balance to the series. It would. And we've, and yes, I know we've seen it before. We've seen it in like Tokyo Ghoul. As I said, we've seen it in Twin Star Exorcist and we've seen, you know, the, uh, um, the bigger threat that there is something even bigger than than them, both then you know, both the Momotaro and 
the um and the oni that they have to come together to stop stop it i would love to see it i really want to see urushi bara's interpretation of it because we've seen it the one that really comes to mind is um what we saw in tokyo ghoul but the thing is in tokyo ghoul though is ishida rushed it ishida completely rushed it um in tokyo ghoul re and i feel like urushi bara would be able if if urushi bara does this right urushi bara could give us what we didn't uh, you know what we didn't get in tokyo ghoul re i would love 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 to have that if urushi bara can give us that here then us to like and I'm wearing the Tokyo Ghoul speaking of us Tokyo like the Tokyo Ghoul fans especially could actually get some closure of what we could have gotten in Tokyo Ghoul I'd love to see something like that I really hope we do get something like that and hell even get give us like a rogue group I would love to see a rogue group of group of Oni as well maybe with we'll get more child of um, children of Kishin and that will be our rogue group see I'm giving you ideas here, Urushibara. I am. But do I think this would be the right time for it? For it to happen? Mm. Not yet. I think when Mikado finds out the truth about the situation with, um, with Shiki and the manipulation that's going on, on, you know, on his end, that's when I think... We're going to get the, the ball rolling. That's when I think shit's going to really, really go down. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What you guys think. Do you guys agree with me that we could potentially get something similar to what we had in um, in like Tokyo Ghoul slash Tokyo Ghoul Re um, and get something e and get like the unfinished final. Uh, eventually, I mean, not right away. Eventually, like down the line, have have like the unfinished like final arc that we never you know the unfinished final arc from tokyo will re up in this manga i'm really curious what you guys think i really hope we do get that that would be so amazing it would especially considering what we have here with uh, concept wise oh my god it would be cool. let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and remember to like comment share and subscribe to nerd again sync if you love what i'm doing i want to help keep this channel alive so i can keep bringing you more token on key content there's a few ways you can do that donate to my cash app paypal patreon purchase something off my amazon watch list all that's in the description box below also make sure you follow me on twitter twitch facebook from your playstation network that's in the description box below as well till next time nerdigans i will be seeing you later